Let's continue with biology. Biology topic for genetics. This time we will be talking about mutations. What is a mutation and how many of these mutations do we have when talking about genetics? Starting off, the definition. So a gene mutation, because we're talking about genetics, so a gene mutation is a change is a change in the base sequence base sequence of an allele a very very quick revision of base sequence because this may not be necessarily understood by all uh, in this case we are talking about nucle nucleotide bases, which, once again, very, very brief uh, revision, these are A, T, C, G, adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine in our DNA, and in our RNA, we have adenine, uracil, cytosine, and guanine. It is very important to remember that these are complementary. Uh, I'll, get, I'll get into that different video. Uh, what complementary, at least in this case, means is that adenine is complementary to thymine with a double bond, double bonded, and cytosine to guanine in DNA, and in RNA, adenine is complementary to uracil and cytosine to guanine. So now that we know what a mutation is, and we remember what our bases are, let's get into how many mutations or how many types of mutations we have. And that's three. The first is going to be a base substitution mutation. And the next is base deletion. And the third is insertion. So let's begin with uh, what is a base, base substitution, substitution mutation. Now, what a base substitution mutation is, is where we, we are, um, we're swapping one of the bases, where we're substituting them. And the example given, at least the example I have, is when we're looking at our mRNA strand, and let's say this mRNA strand is, you know, at least part of the strand, is going to be C, G, C, uh, G, U, U, and U, C, C. Now, before I move on, the reason why I'm writing three at a time not you know everything together because th you know this literally is one two three four five six seven eight nine they're all part of one strand and there's it doesn't start with cgc it usually starts with um a u g or, or uh there, there are three uh there are three triplets that usually start a strand and cgc is not one of them and then it doesn't end here it keeps going on and on and on uh, but the reason I wrote them three at a time is because these are these triplets, these are called codons. So, so what a codon is, it's when we have three times a, uh, a base. It's a sequence of three bases. The reason why it's important is because one codon, so one codon tells one tRNA molecule uh, to bring one amino acid, which I will be abbreviating uh, as AA. And then once we have 300 amino acids, we get a, a protein. So the shortest protein is, you know, shortest protein possible is 300 amino acids, at least 300 amino acids long. Uh, you know, some, some proteins can be very, very long, but some of them are quite short, and over here at 300. And um, if we're looking at this, and, you know, we look at three bases, so three bases give one amino acid, which, you know, and then later 300 amino acids give one protein. And so what this means in a mutation, a base mutation, where one of these bases is wrong, so one of these three bases is either it's not there in deletion, we have an additional base in insertion, or it's swapped, it's different in substitution, we get a different amino acid, and then, uh, as I'll explain later, in deletion and insertion, we get a completely different protein. Whereas in substitution, Going up here, actually, I'll, I'll do this over here once more. So we're talking about 
substitution, substitution, um, so C, G, C, G, U, 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 C, C. Now, these are, this is our mRNA, and the amino acids these three give are A, R, G, V, A, L, and S, E, R. These are just the amino acids, these are the names of the amino acids that are produced by these codons. And so in substitution, one of these amino acids is going to be swapped for another. And uh, it's not going to happen in the, well, at least I'm not making this happen in the first codon. So let's say that nothing, nothing wrong happens here. So this is still CGC, which is you know, still ARG. But what happens if this G gets swapped for an A? And then, you know, these U's go down. So it's AUU instead of GUU. Well, now the amino acid is no longer vowel. It is now um, ill, I-L-E. And then once again, because this base substitution only affects one amino or one uh, one base, and only one amino acid, nothing you know nothing happens over here. This is still U-C-C, which is S-E-R. So what to remember here? In substitution, only one base is affected. So only one amino acid is affected. Now moving on, when we have deletion, and once again, I'll, I'll write this out. Uh, this is G-U-U-U-C-C. -C. In deletion, what's happening is uh, one of these you know, bases is being deleted. So we're going from, you know, amino, or uh, we're going from base X to the lack of a base. There's there's nothing there. It, it's just gone. And so once again, this is ARG. And so this is still CGC. This is ARG. But now what happens if I get rid of this G? If, you know, during the process of uh, translation, this, you know, this G doesn't get translated. It doesn't get registered. Well, because a codon it has to have three bases, a codon can't you know consist of only UU. The entire mRNA strand has to move to the left, and so our new codon is going to be this, which is UUU. And then our third codon, well, you know, once again, you can't have it just CC because that's only two bases. And let's say that the next, uh, the next base in the sequence is going to be an A, right? So this means that our our third codon is going to be CCA. Well, UUU, uh, -U -U, this gives the, the amino acid phi, and CCA gives the amino acid pro. But GGU, this gave the amino acid val, while uh, UCC gave the amino acid sir. Look at that, there's a, there's a change. And not only in one amino acid, in two. That's all, you know, just because we took out one base. Everything moved to the left. But, you know, think about it. If there is a change in this amino acid and in this amino acid, there are going to be changes in all of the other amino acids moving forward. So not only is, you know, in substitution, we had only one amino acid, or yeah, we, all did, we had only one amino acid changed. Whereas over here in deletion, the entire protein is going to be changed. Now let's look at insertion. And ins insertion is the opposite of deletion. And so if we've got this CGC uh, A, I'm sorry, we're going to be adding an A. Uh, this is going to be GUU and UCC. Now in insertion, we're going from nothing to you know, base X. So once again, uh, ARG, this is still going to be CGC, which is ARG. Over here, we're adding an A. You know, let, let's say that I'm putting an A in here. It's being, you know, it's been being mistaken. Uh, something happens, and your body thinks, or the process of uh, your body does to create these proteins, thinks that there's an A there. And so now, the codon is no longer G U U. It is now A G U. And uh, what happens here is, look, you've got one amino acid, and it's going to move to the right. Or, I'm sorry, you've got one uh, nucleotide base, which is going to move to the right. 
and so this new uh, amino or this new codon is going to be UUC, not UCC. So we've got UUC, and the C it's also going to move to the right, and then whatever's you know to the right is going to move to the right. So the entire mRNA strand moves one to the right, and so AGU is now SER, and UUC is FPHE, phi. So what we've got in insertion, just like in deletion, is that the, the whole protein is going to be altered. And uh, I'll just write that down over here. When we have substitution, one amino acid is altered. Whereas if we have uh, deletion or insertion, the whole protein is altered. Now, before you get, you know, be before you start thinking, oh well, th these mutations, if you know, proteins are being altered, they must be really, really rare. That's not necessarily the case. It's just that not every mutation is harmful. Uh, on the other hand, you know, not every mutation is beneficial. And this is because we have 20 amino acids. The, the possible, you know, all the amino acids that we have, or at least that we know that we have. Uh, are, are 20, 20 different kinds, whereas there are 64 combinations combinations of bases, right? If one codon has three bases and we have uh, four different kinds of bases, uh, if you write out all the different combinations, all the different sequences, there are 64. And because there are 64 combinations, but only 20 possible amino acids, this means that certain combinations give the same amino acid, right? You might have uh, X, 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 and X, X, Y. These might both give amino acid uh, Z, right? And now certain amino acids are more common than others because more than one combination. I think the most popular is one where there are five or six different combinations that give the same amino acid. And this kind of uh, phenomenon, this is called de, uh, degeneration or degenerate. If something is degenerate, it means that more than one, you know, in this case more than one combination can give the same amino acid. And what I'm going to finish this video on uh, are mutagens. Mutagen. And what a mutagen is, uh, this is something, this is a substance substance that causes uh, mutations and so these are the, these substances you know sometimes they are just household items um, you know certain poisons or just uh, certain household items can can cause mutations but these uh, are generally chemicals chemicals such as heavy metals and uh, radiation.